Cheers. <laughs> Mike, Mike Cheers. That's that's our that's the way we're doing it. We're back. Yeah, Stevie we're back, Oki, yeah. we're back. You're back. It's Lala. Everything's back. Feels great. What have you been up to other than just being awesome and, and posting so many awesome things on social media during the pandemic? What have you oh, What have you done? Well, I mean, now, like, since the pandemic, I'm doing four to five shows. I'm doing six this week. So it's like I'm more than back. I've just been writing music. I've, I've, uh, I'm going to be debuting two brand new songs for my next album. So Can't wait. Yeah, it's going to be we cool. Need... I have five, when four or five out? artists that will be joining me on stage. Wait, five different, five different artists. For tonight. My set, tonight. And, and two of which, and I'll, I'll just say it here because why not? Max is, uh, is he's be singing a brand new song that we're, that we're doing together. Yep. And uh, All Time Low. We have, a, we have a brand new record together. So we have two brand new records. Holy Max crap. All Time Low. Hold on a second. Yes, Max yeah. and All Time Low. Yeah. And then, they were literally just here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, right. And then Darren Chris, we did a song. He's going to be joining me. Uh, Sydney from Echo Smith is joining me on stage for a new song we've never performed oh. before. It's like for my last album. And uh, Ryan Carvio with Complicated, which just dropped a single a few months ago. So, so like, you flew all these people in. All these people yep, are coming yep. in just to, just to party with you on the stage. Small Oh, uh, dude, you're well, headlining. You're headlining up. Oh my God. Yeah, it's a moment right now. You uh, know, like we got to go big. Yeah, yeah, and you are. <laughs> so, what was the last time you did Lala? It's been a couple of years, right? It has been a couple of years. Yeah. I, I I don't know exactly what year, but yeah, I do remember. See, the thing is, is like with my shows, you you know, like you'll be like. 10 years be like, yo, Aoki show is crazy. Don't remember like the set list, but I remember the cake. But I do remember last time I played here, Aaron Paul came on stage with me, good friend of mine from Breaking Bad, and we threw cakes out in the crowd together. I was like watching Aaron Paul throw a cake in the crowd, all blues, you can never forget that. I love it. Yeah. So a guest cake thrower should be a thing moving forward because yeah. you're notorious for the cake throwing, right? So. You get like a uh, a big celebrity that comes up, and then all of a sudden, like that's gonna be known in your head as the show that, oh, Shaquille O'Neal threw a cake. Yes. Wait, did Shaq did Shaq ever throw a cake? Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure he did. I'm sure. I I'm almost made it up. I'm but almost I, think I saw. I remember seeing. Yeah, yeah. It. Yeah. I mean, yeah. There, there's been like some really uh, Vin Diesel caking me. That was that was something I'll never forget. But for this show, for the first time, I like to include like all the worlds I'm involved in. One of which is NFTs. Digital oh, talk collectibles. About the NFT. Yeah, 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 so yeah, 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 yeah. Lollapalooza right. and myself. Yeah. Because I've I'm in the big in the NFT space. We're minting, creating NFTs of every single cake experience. So there's ten cakes. Wow. We're minting every single cake moment. One of which, we'll see if Perry will join me on his stage. Yeah. So I'm thinking it's Perry's stage. Is it's like the 30 year anniversary of Lollapalooza. We gotta get, we gotta do something with cool with Perry. He, so, was just, he was just over here. I'm, I'm yeah. guessing he he's such a cool guy. He's the best. I mean, you've he obviously really hung, yeah. but like, he's the type of guy that like he he created this, but also he never like got away from it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right, like, right. He, he gets what this whole thing curates is about. Curates it all the way, you know, nuts and bolts. So he's just amazing. My I favorite guy. question I asked to, to Perry real quick was was what's your favorite Lala moment as the creator? What's the one thing that jumps to your mind? And he told me about the very first performance was, was Henry Rollins doing this with the microphone, putting on his fist, and like starting to like scream into the mic because that was the very first Lala performance. So I was like, wow. Pretty dope, I right? could imagine, I could Can see the see visual of that. Henry Rollins? Yeah, 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 and he's just Rock like. Guy. Yeah, yeah, no, come on. I was, yeah, I love Henry Rollins. Black Flag, come on, yeah. Big amazing, fan, big amazing. fan. Amazing. Yeah. So dude, uh, obviously Chicago loves you. The last time that we hung out, we were doing a show at Studio Paris, and literally like you took the cake, you did the thing, it was a it was a lit party like it was yeah. next level and then the club was like after Stevie Oki there's no reason for us to be open anymore we're just, <laughs> we're just gonna shut shut the f down um, where are you at this summer or the the rest of the year I mean every weekend every weekend Las Vegas Vegas yep Omnia and Hakkasan Wet Republic so okay. I'm playing there I've been playing every single week cool yeah so Is that's that that's my residency year or, or just this year? yeah I mean I'm I'm I, like that's been my home since 2014. Okay. And I just signed on for three more years, so I'm I'm there, and wow. I'm I it's am. It's an event, right? Yeah, and I live there, so it's it's perfect to, for my residency yeah. there. Miami is is a, also a very constant place. I always play at Live or Story or yeah. Strawberry Moon, but I'm you know I'm playing a lot everywhere, I'll, but a lot in the United States. So yeah. I mean three three to five shows a week at least. How have you stayed positive during this whole time, man? You I am know. so I am yeah. filled with so much gratitude right now. Okay. Because you know, obviously being locked down, yeah, yeah. at any point in time, there there could be it could just be taken away from you. 
So when you have that feeling, when like this could be it, it really could. You just don't know. I mean, you never thought that the pandemic was possible, right? In our lifetime. I was like, oh, we're living in like the best time of human existence. And like, then all you know, of a sudden, yeah, just, it's just, it's over. Hits the right, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So like every time I'm on stage, every time I'm playing from a, a, a crowd of just people filled with so much love and energy and positivity, like, oh, it's like, it's like, this is it. This could be the last day. Make it feel that way and you will have the best show of your life. Even the crowd, I'm like, guys, this could be it. So make it, make it the best experience because don't, don't be lost in it. Be present in it. And I, I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm filled with a lot of gratitude right now. What would you say to your Chicago fans that are watching this interview? Because you know Chicago loves you more than than any other city. I, so. I, yeah, I, I love Chicago. Yeah. And, I mean, it's a testament to what's going on in Lollapalooza, one of the greatest festivals in the world. It's happening right in the heart of Chicago. I can't wait for this crowd. And I love you guys so much. We're going to have a great time. Can't wait to debut all my mu new oh music my for you guys, too. So you guys are going to hear some of my new album coming out. Really excited. Tell us, tell us dates. Do we have dates? Or no dates yet. Dates yet? Okay. Yeah, I'm just like, it, it's like the kind of thing that sprung on me. I'm like, we have to debut some of the new music because I, yeah. I, like, I'm, 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 you know, kind of inching my way to, to the drop. Oh, dude, we, yeah. we play, we, we blast your stuff at Kiss FM. Thank you. You know we do. Um, all right, here we go. Seven rapid question fire. Let's go. Rapid fire question. <laughs> what, uh, what game show would you thrive at? Oh, my God. What game show? Um... Wipeout. <laughs> you are you are like athletic AF. Yeah, like, yeah, like or American Ninja out, Warrior, like, maybe. You know, yeah. like I'm I'm down with one of those shows. <laughs> I love those shows. Obstacle courses. Uh, favorite Britney Spears song? Hashtag Free Britney. Um, Toxic. Come on, come can't on. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. Uh, rapid fire questions. We're doing seven things to Jack Daniels. Okay. If you could wear one type of hat for the rest of your life. What type of hat would that be? Uh, fedora. Well, like Justin Timberlake style? Yeah, like, like, I, I'm not a hat guy, but if, yeah. if I have to really rock one, I think fedora. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My long black hair, I think it look good. I feel like you're going to really, uh, you're going to be able to contribute a lot to this question. You and Snoop Dogg are chatting for 40 minutes. What's that conversation like? Wrong answer only. Oh, God, we've done that before yeah, yeah. <laughs> on his GGN show. Yep. Um, he's a he is a witty guy. He's smart. Well, well, yeah, he's incredibly smart. He's super Whoa, funny. What was that conversation like? Um, it was kind of like rapid rapid fire questions, yeah. but it just all but over the place. Wrong answer only if you and Snoop God, have a God, God. Uh, <laughs> probably a lot about. I don't smoke weed. He he loves it, so I don't know. Maybe does, does Snoop like weed? That seems like it. I don't know. <laughs> I think he does. We just talk about chicken. We're okay. like, what's their favorite like chicken or steak? I'm like, not steak. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what's your go-to air airport wardrobe? Oh, I I uh, I, I well, you're you're big time. You don't go to so airports. I, no, no, you just no, 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 I do. I go to I go to no, I go to airports. Do you fly? Do you fly, do you fly, fly commercial? commercial? Southwest. I don't no do way. Spirit. I don't do Frontier. You're I'll, Steve Aoki. You do not fly. I Southwest. I, I, I fly Southwest okay. a lot. Really? A lot. Okay. Yeah, okay. I fly Southwest a lot. Delta, American. You know, I do I do them all. Um, oh but right. I, I, you, I have so a. Do you, what are you wearing so we know? When okay, I have an obnoxiously you. big pillow. I don't care. Cause I, like, I need to sleep. Yeah. I have my headphones on. Generally, I got like usually a hoodie, yeah. um, and and like right when I get on a plane, I got, well, obviously get your mask on, and I got my eye eye mask on. So my whole face is covered. My my ears are covered. I have a hoodie on, and I'm I'm and and I got a big pillow. So that's usually me. If you if you see that. And then last question. It's not here, but how many hours of sleep do you need? Um, per night. Weekends, naps. Okay. So naps so is like, that's it. like so 20, really 30, sleep. 20, 30 minutes. But like normally, like during the week, if you're not Oh yeah, working, six, like, six to eight. Like I'll go, it? yeah, okay, yeah. So it's six, usually, okay. it's usually six, but like, uh, but like weekends I can, I can thrive off the naps. Nice. Yeah. If I need to do like, I'll sleep in a car on the way to Lala, I'll be like. Love you, you know. bro. All right. Can't wait to see your set. Thank you. Stevie Oki, the one and only. And we have one more question. Jack Daniels is all about making every moment count. What is the one moment you want to make count here in 2021? Making the crowd go absolutely berserk. I think they will. That's Let's a, go. That's a, that's a yes. Hard yes. <laughs> all right.